Rude Rangers, can I tell you a secret? I love these advice letters. I do, I do, I do. Get a seat, come on in, let's do it. Hey, Rude Rangers, it's time to hear about people with problems from far and near. For most of them, there seems no hope. Some of these letters must be a joke. I must admit, at times I feel these letters we get, they can't be real. But take it from me, the letters are true, and I'm as shocked as most of you. I don't know why they're asking us, but help them out, we surely must. So sit right down, let's take a look at people with problems inside this book. Hey, Rude Rangers, Mr. Rudy here. Of course, we're at the Ranger Station and this is Rudy's room. Do me a favor, please follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you can, please, we are on Instagram. I want you to check us out. We've got some amazing content out there and there's even better stuff coming. Okay. You know the deal, new week, new letter, new viewer with a problem. Let's do it. Ah, hello Rudy, how are you? My boyfriend is stealing my identity and I need help handling the situation. He's 35, I'm 28, and we've been together for one and a half years. I love him and we plan to get married, but like your show said, things are becoming team too much. <laughs> The first month after losing his job, he became depressed, started drinking, stopped taking showers, ew, mm, wouldn't brush his teeth, double ew, and never changed his clothes. The smell of our place and bed in particular became so bad that I threatened to smash every window in his car unless he put his ass in the shower immediately. Thank Jehovah he took my threat seriously and washed really, really well. We talked, and he did share that losing his job to him felt like he lost his identity. I tried to tell him that no job defines you and encourage him to start exploring interests until he finds himself again. Well, it seemed like my words had meaning because he stayed groomed, stopped drinking, and actually began to change his clothes regularly. Good for you! Mm, some powerful words. Fast forward two months ago and I come home from work one night to find my six foot, 225 pound boyfriend. Is that big? Six feet, 225? I guess, I don't know. Um, my six foot, 225 pound boyfriend cooking dinner while wearing my high heel shoes, my red high heel shoes. I said, what the hell is this? And snapped that those shoes were brand new, Rudy. I never ever wore them. And worse than that, his ass was <laughs> They were on final sale, so I couldn't even take them back. He explained that he just wanted to see how I make it look so easy. I laughed, called him a fool, and we went on with our night with no more incidents. Or so I thought. Um Oh, Rudy, just when things couldn't get worse, one night we're in bed and I notice that this man is wearing my thong. All of his underwear was dirty, he said, and he thought I'd be mad if he didn't keep wearing clean clothes. That was his excuse as to why he took my underwear. From that moment on, the sex stopped. <laughs> and things just haven't been right ever since. Rudy. 
He borrows my clothes instead of washing his own. He says wearing them makes him feel closer to me. Yesterday he dyed his hair and the color is somewhat similar to mine. I love this man and really want to get married, but I don't know what to do and have no one to talk to because I feel like everyone's going to laugh at me. Please help. Signed, my boyfriend borrows my bras in Beaver Falls. Whew. That is team too much. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, Rude Rangers, I'm going to need you to drop down in the comment section here. She's got a man, uh, six feet, 225. He is wearing her thong. He's dyed his hair to match hers. He put on her red high heel final sale shoes that she never wore. And according to her, stretched them out. Um, uh, th this to me is not really a long you know, advice session here because I think that you need to talk first to yourself to see if this is something that you're comfortable with. It sounds like you might not be. And if you're not, then you need to have a conversation with him and say, this just isn't working for you. Um, it sounds like he is discovering himself and maybe he does feel close to you when he's wearing your thong. Because, I mean, those things seem uncomfortable. So I'm always trying to pick things out. So why people have things going in is a whole other thing. But I'm not judging. Well, maybe a little. Um, no, seriously. You need to really search yourself first and decide if the fact that maybe he does enjoy wearing women's clothes is something that you can handle. Um, if it is something that you can handle... The next thing you need to do is maybe buy him his own clothes. They got a lot of great like, like catalogs and stuff in places. And then this, I mean, yeah. listen, become a TJ Maxxer and there's Marshalls and, and all kinds of discount things. And while you're out there, I mean, if you're comfortable with this, while you're out there picking up a bra for you, give him a little Vicky secret for himself. And, and that'll keep your love going strong. If, however, this is not something that you're comfortable with, if it's not something you don't want to live with, end it now you haven't really been together that long you have no children you're not married you can move on he can be happy and you know what he may find someone that it all works for him i got a question and this is not to sound rude so please forgive me um if he's six feet 225 pounds and he's able to wear your bra and he's able to wear your thong and he's able to wear your shoes like are you built like a linebacker like are you like what 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 what's your What's your shapeage like? Because I would think if you're a little piece of nothing, the stuff wouldn't fit. Um, and if he's ruining your shoes, is he ruining your bra? Uh, these are the things I wonder. I don't know. Those of you who have... Some, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your situation is serious, and I am taking it as such, so I apologize. Those of you who have some suggestions on what she should do with her bra-stealing boyfriend, again, drop down in the comments section. Let her know. I would love for you to email us, uh, programming at rudrangers.com. Let us know what you decided to do about your situation. Did you both go shopping together? Did you break it off, move out, and, and let him find his way? And... Mm, the color that he dyed his hair, is it actually better than your color? Like, was it better quality? Because maybe he's good at doing it. And if he did, he could be saving you a tons of money at the salon. Again, I digress. Do me a favor. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, if you can, please, we are on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Love you for writing. Hope things get better. Have a great day.